Welcome, listeners, to episode 20 of Is That Your Kid podcast. I'm your host, Todd Gregory, along with my lovely co-host, Jacob Henry. How are you doing this week, Jacob? I'm doing fine, Todd. Uh, how I hope, all, I hope all of our listeners are having a great week out there. I hope all of you guys are having a great week as well. As you know, this is called Is That Your Kid Podcast. We are actually reminiscing a bit today. It is episode 20. 20 weeks, Jake. That's right. We'll be taking a look at all of the great memories that we've had the past beautiful 20 memories. Weeks. Wonderful. Well, now, 20 weeks ago, Jake, we started this podcast. Twenty weeks ago, we had started this podcast, and um, it, we, it it didn't go from your way. bedroom. From your bedroom, we started. Oh, it. right, right. Mm -hmm. And 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 twenty weeks ago, did did you see? Would you be able to, you know, predict that this is this is where we'd be? Twenty yes. weeks later, actually, yeah, very much so. In the same place. Yeah, we, we haven't were. really gone gone very far. We at haven't all, have gone we? very no, far. No, we haven't gone very far. But it's about the journey, isn't it, Todd? It is all about the journey and and we've gone we've we've journeyed yes jacob places. we have journeyed many places and so thank you for hitting that download button as stone cold steve austin would say oh hell yeah so we are here <laughs> we are here with you counting down our favorite memories of is that your kid volume one and and this is for the listeners out there that's right for all your hard work and dedication that that came into this podcast, and we just want to thank you. That's right, and and they might not be your favorite memories, but they might they might be ours. And I don't really care if they're not your favorite memories. There are memories that we created, Jacob. Together, 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 with the help of our listeners. With but, but some mostly, help, mostly us. Though. Mostly, uh, yeah, yes. Mm. So, we're, I think we're gonna start this off, just like we should start off every episode on a high note. And if there's no bigger high note, <laughs> I get it. You're funny. With a high. ball noise. Trump's many ball noises. Instead of Trump's the many ball noises. No, it's just not a ball bouncing, Todd. Is it? No, no. it's a noise. It's a it, deflated it's, it's, ball. It's not a ball swishing through a hoop or or the sound of a a nice touchdown pass. It's is not. It? No. No, no. A deflated ball noise. It's a deflated That's ball wonderful. noise. Such a just so wonderful thing. If you hear the ball noise throughout the episode today, that harkens back to episode three when we started our scavenger hunt. That's right. And that was, I believe it was visual stuff. Ooh. Visual stuff, Jake. Mm. Because most of our stuff is, you know, mm -hmm. ear stuff. Ear stuff. I, uh, to start this podcast out, I had an ear infection for seven to eight weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Very unhealthy. Very unhealthy. Very unhealthy. But it's better. Mm -hmm. And now both of your ears may be working fine. And that said, scavenger hunt, those of you who do remember, I end up beating Jacob Henry at that scavenger hunt. Mm -hmm. And he was not very happy about it. Well, so you kind of won through deceit. But I did not. It's it was, about the journey, It was though. completely fair. Right. 100% fair. You're right. Fair. No, you're right. No, he but not. at the time, he He's was lying. really, really fucking mad at me. I, Jake, I, you were very mad at I me. I wouldn't say mad. I might say a little butthurt. A little butthurt. Just a little butthurt. So I want to take you back to Butthurt Jake. So I brought, and I guess this is, uh... Uh, something that I had found. You're such a snake, man. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Twelve hours ago, you are like, Yeah, I don't have anything. Well, I didn't. Oh, I, I didn't. don't have anything. Yeah, because you forgot to mention the creations. Hey, hey, keep it down. Come on, We're man. in public. We're in public I here. got a real sweet well, hamburger man at a clay sitting right on my desk that I could have brought in. Well, I mean, it's over now. I forgot about it. Uh, but we are in White Oak uh, Arby's Slicing Up Freshness, so... So, Jake, looking back at that, how do you feel? You know, uh, initially I, I was upset, and, and I, I can't say much more than that. Um, I, we kind of forgot the, the terms of, of, 
of yes. maybe of maybe the scavenger hunt and you I forgot, forgot about them. I forgot all about the you creation. You forgot all about the terms of the of the conditions we should say. I had a hamburger that I made from clay. <laughs> oh, tell us about it. Oh, it's a hamburger. It even had different ingredients. There were onions Isn't and that ketchup. Special? Ketchup. Lettuce um, and guess what? There's a removable piece of cheese and tomato. Oh, and you created it. Sesame seed bun. I made that too. <laughs> I painted it and everything. I put it in that I put it in that hot, hot kiln. I blasted it and, and just got it so hot. And it, and you know what? That that soft, pliable, you know, malleable There's clay. There's nothing better than a hot kiln, Jake. I oh. put that hamburger in there, and you know what happened when it came out? What? It was hard. <laughs> beautiful. That is so beautiful. It's really wonderful. And that hamburger went on a journey, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And and you know what? Maybe in volume two, you could bring that hamburger and in. And smash it to bits. And <laughs> smash it to bits. <laughs> Some ear stuff for, for our listeners. Some more More ear stuff. More ear stuff. So, uh, as we continue this journey of volume one uh reminiscing about our favorite moments of these 20 episodes we are actually going to go on a break next week because we just have migraine headaches from all this work and yeah. we just want to take mm -hmm. a little vacation and, and we want to come back to you um and we expect your dedication and love just as we give to you listeners you week. can take a vacation as well we encourage that mm -hmm. take a vacation with us now we don't want you to come with us but but take a week off mentally work mentally come with us yes mentally come not physically come with us <laughs> but uh some of the best mo <laughs> some of the best moments that we've had we've also shared with celebrities isn't that right jake that's right that's right and as soon as last week, we made a friend over Twitter. That's right. That's right. And his name was, of course, Sylvester Stallone. Ah, hmm. He was known for... What a selfless person. What a selfless individual. He was known for not only his action films and his girthy muscles, hmm. but he's also known for buying pizzas for people in Philadelphia in laundromats. And maybe art museums. And maybe art museums. We don't know that for sure. So, listeners, I want to take you back to last week, episode 19, where we talk about pizza facts with Sylvester Stallone. That's right. Um, since we are celebrating with this feast, I wanted to have some what I call pizza facts coming in. <laughs> and just to let you know, I'm going to filter them through the episode, but some of these pizza facts <laughs> aren't real. <laughs> aren't real <laughs> no so you have to tell me like which if, if i'm telling you a, a true or false pizza fact just a quick visual stuff update todd's eating a breadstick with a fork right now <laughs> yeah, i'm not i don't want to touch it so pizza facts uh -huh. what kind of facts are there about pizza that people might not know i feel like i know everything there is to know about pizza well really they're italian food facts but i already called it pizza facts so i'll just go with it but um so you have to tell me if these are true or false um, in 1994, Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone bought uh, medium pizzas for everybody in the art museum in Philadelphia. <laughs> I don't know why medium, but it doesn't <laughs> say what kind. Well, no one wants a large. Mm -mm. You can't take that home. Uh, uh, yeah, true, sure. False, right off the bat. He did not. <laughs> no, I just said that. <laughs> not real. <laughs> pizza, pizza facts. Sylvester Stallone bought three large pizzas for everybody at the Philadelphia Art Museum in 1993. I don't know, three. <laughs> Good. A nice arbitrary date that you just made up. Uh, false. That one's false. Okay, well, actually, Rob, I've got another one for you, my man. Um, Sylvester Stallone, he actually, there's a supermarket uh, backslash <laughs> laundry... <laughs> There's a supermarket backslash laundromat, and Sylvester Stallone being from Philadelphia, and I believe it was 1993 as well, just the, like the one that you got, he bought everyone in the laundromat uh, medium pizzas, medium plain pizzas, and um, they enjoyed them. I mean, I don't know if that was his thing, but uh, that's a pizza fact for you. Is that a true one? 
You know, I think that might be true too. That's false. Yeah. See, I knew it. I'm so good. I'm so convincing with Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> like I'm so, so convincing. I can That's get so at all of you. Stallone shit. It's killing me. <laughs> He's done three of them. So <laughs> First time he bought everyone a medium pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time. Was it's it? all fact check. You could reach uh, Sylvester Stallone at, at St- Sylvester S on Twitter. <laughs> is that a true pizza? Is that a true yeah. Stallone fact? Pizza. Find him. Uh, people in the Is That Your Kid universe out there, follow Sylvester Stallone on Twitter and tweet at him, thanks for the pizza in the laundromat. <laughs> Tweet at him that. Say, at Sylvester Stallone, thanks for the pizza at the laundromat. And just to see if it gets a little pop. Doubt it. <laughs> Be good. Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone, thank you. True patriot. You're a true man and a true patriot. Ooh, that chest hair. Am I right? You know what my favorite part? I love it when he smokes a nice big cigar. A big fatty, yes. Mm. Yes, Sylvester, uh, please continue being a continued supporter. And for those new listeners out, yes, we actually do make up bits about celebrities actually liking our podcast. It's part of what we do. Mm -hmm. So, So, go on. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. My apologies. But yes, we've been preparing for this best of volume one for quite some time and uh yesterday we kind of had a pre-pod meeting Hmm. at the chinese buffet that's right Mm -hmm. that's right and i did not know jacob and as you remember i did not know when it had opened the buffet and so i called that establishment and i asked them a few different times i said what time is the buffet buffet open today? That's a very reasonable question. Very what, reasonable. What time does the buffet start? They said, "Don't entree." Hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting answer. Mm-hmm. So I said, "I said what? What?" And they said, "Don't entree." And then I felt very stupid and awkward. So I just said, "Okay, thank you," and hung up. And then so when you asked me what time the buffet started, you really didn't know. I didn't know. I said, "Don't entree." <laughs> Don't do a tray. So this will be best of is that your kid podcast volume one. Don't do tray. Don't do tray. Mm-hmm. And I think such a fitting title. Mm-hmm. Such a fitting. Title. It means everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you could hit us up on at is that your kid on Twitter. Email in is is that your kid at yahoo.com. This is our twentieth episode, and we are celebrating by drinking. Raspberry lemonade, hmm. Swiss premium, right out of a jug today. That's right. And if you'd like a collector's edition, boxed set, box set, cassette tape, cassette of tape, is that your kid? Mm-hmm. Episodes one and this episode all the way to twenty. Mm-hmm. You can call one eight hundred five five three five 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 three. Yes, one eight hundred five five three five five three three. Right? Two different numbers you could call. Well, one, one is my number and one is, one is your number. Yes, so you could call either number. If you call in the next five minutes, you get a limited edition. 75 Tell us. business cards. 75 We're business We're still trying cards. to get rid of those. We are trying to get rid of our you business cards. You call in the cards. next five minutes, you'll get a limited edition. Is that your kid? Flying mm-hmm. frisbee disc. Yes. Flying. It flies by itself. A little bit of help is needed, but once it leaves your hands, it, it mostly flies itself. That's that's fantastic, Jake. That's a magnificent... And what an offer. What an offer for our listeners out there. 20 weeks of work. Lex, I know you want one of those. We'll send one to you for free. You only, though. <laughs> you, I think you and I get drunk about the same amount, Lex. I've actually... am going through a very, very tough time in my personal life right now. <laughs> and I've been drunk for... Over two weeks straight. J- Jacob, how do you feel about that? Well, it's a little concerning. A little um, concerning. But also, I'm not that concerned either. Mm-hmm. But you have been concerned before. There have been times where I've been concerned about a few things. Mm-hmm. And we actually, on this podcast, do a bit called Jay Zerm's Concerns, where Jake is concerned, mm-hmm. whether it be about dinosaurs, conversations about dinosaurs flopping. They do. 
he anytime he has a conversation about dinosaurs, no one wants to talk dinos. Is that correct? It, and isn't it disappointing? Yeah. Creatures that walked maybe on the very place that you're you're listening right now. Mm -hmm. Living, breathing, breathing. huge mm -hmm. monstrosities. <laughs> yeah. Kissing, this earth. hugging, loving. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? And they're not here anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and no one would really like to talk about them. Mm -hmm. or, or if you'd like to get a tan, you were looking for an even base. You Lulu, if you'd like to go back in time and, and talk to little Jake mm -hmm. about dinosaurs, he knew more about them back then than he does now. He lost. He lost <laughs> the it, mental capacity to hold all those And you know why? Because if you don't them. use it, you lose it. And I don't have anyone to use it with. I used to know all the names of all the dinosaurs. And he lost it. Because there's no one to converse. Mm -hmm. But Jay Zerm's concerns came up, I believe it was episode... Why don't, why don't we take a look back? Why don't we take a look back at the episode first time? 10. Episode 10. The this is second time we, around we, we recorded episode yes, 10. Yes, we recorded episode 10 twice. So this is technically episode... This is a clip from episode 10.2. This is when we established Jay Zerm's concerns. Let's take a listen. about are you a liberal are you a conservative put it up in there share that episode share that episode if you're conservative share the episode if you're liberal share the episode <laughs> it doesn't matter we're all we're all on this earth together <laughs> that's a liberal thing you to remember say. when goku made the spirit ball we helped yeah we're all part of this everybody yeah. you know sharing is caring you know we're all part of the same universe we're just helping each other out is that a liberal thing to say <laughs> yes <laughs> okay but um, uh, as I mentioned, you could email in uh, is that your kid at yahoo.com with comments, concerns, concerns. <laughs> <laughs> we, maybe we, we're too worse here. No, you, you have a concern. Email us. Email us in. Is that your kid at yahoo.com? <laughs> Jay Zerm con concerns. <laughs> <laughs> that should be a segment. Jay what are Jay Zerm's concerns for this week? <laughs> My concerns is that this podcast is going to break like the last one. That's my concern of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Zerm concerns. <laughs> that was the first concern of yours. Hmm. Yes. Are because you... most times I'd, I'd like the episodes to not, not break. Mm -hmm. And we did have to tape that episode twice. Yeah. And, and another concern, even right now, is that we both have very, very old laptop technologies very very old yes more than six years old yes jacob yes mm -hmm. old old unreliable mm -hmm. beaten ass laptops that's right yes. that's right and sometimes they fail us oh they do and sometimes they they don't but most times yeah yes <laughs> it's like it's like my parents if you will <laughs> throughout the history of my life <laughs> Just remember, you can call in 1-800-553-5553 for your limited edition box to set. To sets. 1-800-555-5533. So we, we may have just introduced a third number you could call. Yeah. Your so sister's actually knows. waiting on the line downstairs. Yes, my sister is on she the line. She is anxiously awaiting that first phone call. That's right, that's right. She's at, Okay, she's actually at the door. She... She's making a sign to me. There's not one call yet. No one. Any of those numbers, you could get no a cassette tape of 20 episodes, including this one. That's right. Of the Is That Your Kid podcast, Volume 1. And that's an investment, isn't it? That's mm -hmm. an investment. That's something that you could show your children. Your children. That's something you could children. show your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. That's something you can make your dog listen to once. Yes. Like Tails the dog. Jake's dog, Tails, has been That's a big right. part of this podcast. Huge part forward. and a huge supporter. Without his support and the release of the serotonin through his just just unwanted mm -hmm. cuddles and, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Where would I be? I, where would I be? I don't know where I would be. You know, if you're feeling down this week, you can come over and hang out with Tails. I would. We'll just I would put you, we'll put you both there. on the back porch. Both on the back porch? Yeah, you can't. You don't. You shouldn't come in. But we'll put you both on the back porch. Okay, I, I won't come in. Yeah, I, no, that's for I've the best. I've been told about coming in before. That's for the best. Don't. Mm, they don't really like me in the house that's much. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. But uh, I I think that uh, over the course of these twenty episodes, 
I think we've meant a lot to one another, and we've spent some precious time together. And let's face it, we were pretty hammered for a good 25% of it. Is that is that correct? I think 25% is uh, very accurate. Maybe very accurate. me about 26. 26. 26%. Right, right, right. So out of the 20 episodes, about five of them. Yes. And, and something that we like to do during those moments is share stories together. That's right. And you know exactly what I'm talking about, Jacob. Mm, we do have great stories. One of the best stories that's ever been told on here is what our fans and listeners like to call the lizard story. And this was back on episode I th- episode 12, I think that's so. Right, that's right. Episode that was 12. That's the part 2. Part 2, late night part 2 where we recorded two episodes in one evening. Uh, episode 11, we analyzed a tumbler. Mm. Episode 12, We did nothing. We had nothing whatsoever. That's right. And some of our best moments came from that. And you'll hear more about those later. I'm going to go back to our famous lizard backslash... Bleh. (laughs) Lizards backslash salamander story. Mm. Cue it up, my friend. Cue it up. Once upon a time... In the Misty Mountains, there was a... A man who liked to fish, but there was no water to fish. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry. That wasn't a, you know... That wasn't, I didn't build... Oh my goodness. That doesn't... So, the man traveled from the one Misty Mountain down to the ravine where fish typically congregate but he remembered that he left his fishing pole at his cabin from the misty part of the mountain after spending an exorbitant amount of time traveling from one misty mountain to another he goes down to the ravine but alas a strange fish was in the water (laughs) And go. Oh my. The fish crawled and gurgled his way up onto land. Gurgle. As if a man army crawling gurgled his way up onto land, flopping in front of the lowly fisherman, he exclaimed in a gurgly fishy tone. I am not a fish, as what you once thought. I am actually a salamander. You see, my tail has been lost in the water, and I am on a quest to find my tail. Will you help me find my tail? Said the fish. (laughs) Salamander. (laughs) The man was totally tripped out, because (laughs) around his part of the mountain, he had never seen nor heard a human nor amphibian speak so he said to the salamander are you truly speaking to me there is no one else around the fish said who else would i be speaking to you must help me find my tail are you a fish or a salamander i am a salamander will you help me with my tail crust or not I came down to this ravine to fish, but now my fish backslash salamander friend, what has happened to your tail? It is gone, and I do not know where it is. However, you cannot fish. There are no fish in here, only salamander with tails. (laughs) I love that. I love, the fisherman said. How your voice goes in and out of salamander speech as you speak. <laughs> that tail you so much so much want back. How, if we find it, can we attach it to your body again? I don't attach it to my body, said the salamander. In fact, I just want to eat it. My tail grows back naturally. So, 
the fisherman said. <laughs> do you listen to Is That Your Kid podcast? I do. I subscribe on iTunes. Subscribe on iTunes, Salamander. Is That Your Kid? I also follow them on Tumblr. Is That Your Kid com. I also have a Twitter account. Do you know social media? I do. Is that your kid dot Twitter backslash is that your kid? Anyway, I will help you find your tail so you could eat it because I understand at this point do you only eat your tail? Where did you lose your tail, Salamander? Well, I just knock the mic over. Keep going. Do you need help with your mic? Is Said it the fine? Salamander? No. No. <laughs> Said the fisherman. Said the fisherman. It was taken by ch- ch- trolls. <laughs> okay. For trolls love gold and also salamander tales. And also long stories. Okay, well said the fisherman. I don't have time to understand why trolls love gold or salamander, so I will pick up this rock and smash it against your skull because I feel like this is a plot point that you're going to mess up on. So I smash, the fisherman smashes the salamander head and said, I've really had a terrible day based on the fact that I came down here looking to fish. And he started walking up the fogged ass mountain. Fien. Wow, wow! What a what a pow- powerful thing. We 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 created that. Yes, we did. There was murder and violence as well. Yeah, absolutely. There was a lot of ver- murder and violence, but above all else, it was passion. It was. Emotional. It was pure. Pure. And there's nothing wrong with eating your own tail, I don't think. No. If I had one, I would try it. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I don't. Again, you could subscribe on iTunes and tell your friends about us. Because we're gearing up for the best of volume one. Don't, don't tray. Don't, don't tray. And you know what would make a great don't, don't gift? Tray. A great gift. Don't, don't tray. <laughs> a great gift. Don't, don't that tray. 20 20 episode boxed set would make a great gift. Why tell your friends about it when you could give the gift of Is That Your Kid immediately? Immediately. It'll take about 9 to 14 weeks to show up at your door. That's But in those 9 to 14 weeks, think about how many other episodes of Is That Your Kid you could listen to for free. For free in the For free. So if you're one of those people who listens to Volume 2 prior to... To volume one, you have that ability. And an update from my sister on how many were ordered, Jake. None so far. Still none. Still none. So we will, in fact, uh, give our number out again. It's 1 800 555 Again, Which again. Which is one of the choices. 1 800 553 And you can yes. call in, make your donation, or buy that box set. Now there's about four to five phone numbers. So even by mistake, if you do in fact call, we are a podcast. We are nerds from Western Pennsylvania. That's right. And we cope with one another's personality flaws as we podcast. On this journey. On this beautiful journey. And throughout the podcast, we've had a lot of people support us. A lot of guests, when you say Jacob. That's right. That's right. Along with us on this journey, I've been... I can think of a handful yes. of very dedicated, very dedicated friends and listeners, mm-hmm. and listeners. And what makes them so special is that I guess I, they do listen. Mm-hmm. And that's I, pretty much that's, that's the only, basically, all you need to do. Right, right. And if special. you'd like to get involved, and if you'd like to be a guest, all that you need to do, send us an email. Mm-hmm. Is that your kid at yahoo dot com? Yes. Feedback is all always appreciated. Yes. So the don't guests, don't the guests of ITYK. Ah, wow. We could go on forever. Yes. We could go on forever, but why not why not listen? Mm-hmm. Why not listen instead with your ears? And these these feature Andrew Hot Dog Parish. Mm. Alex Messenger Bag Clue. Wow. Mike the Destroyer. Wow, what a what a strong person. Chris Gethard oh. did an intro. Comedian. 
and friend. Chris Gether. Right in the back of your rental car. Right in the back of my rental car, because at that time, I was going through more hard times because my car got hit and run that week. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's the journey. So why don't we take a listen to our guests of I-T-U-I-K. Is that your kid? Ah. <sighs> Hey, this is Chris Gethard, and you're listening to Is That Your Kid? You better buckle up, man, because Todd and Jake, they're about to take you on a real ride. And the intro, what you heard, we actually record in the, he was in the back seat of my rental car, because long story short, my car was hit and run, so I had a rental car, and it was uh, the nicest car I'll never own, and it was from Massachusetts, so I will always remember that day, is like, no matter what we did for the rest, I will always remember... The uh, time you picked up Chris Gethard not in your car. Or not in my car, <laughs> and him recording an intro from the Greyhound <laughs> Station parking lot in the back seat of the car. Episode 3, I actually talked about how a, a kindergarten student of mine, um, he's 6, uh, right in class, as I was, as we were having class, he, he actually just ripped a tooth right out of his head, his very first tooth ever. He just pulled it, pulled it straight out. He didn't rip it out of his mouth, he ripped it out of his head, is what, uh... He was in his, like, ear or something. I, it's interesting, it does take a certain amount of nerve to pull a tooth out. I'm trying to, I, uh, you're gonna get, I'm gonna get yelled at just like I did from that one, um, uh, ukulele army, but I remember my dad would always help me knock out my baby teeth with, do you guys know those golden books? <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the fancy engravings on the in the bindings, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like a it's like a very small, like maybe a centimeter or two, a centimeter wide gold binding. He would take one and like, I mean, this is with my consent, of course, and like sort of put it up to my teeth and just sort of pop like the binding, and that would that did a great job. Of <laughs> so when you say your dad helped you knock out your teeth, he was physically knocking them out. <laughs> Yeah, well, if it was loose, then he would say, you know, do you want to get it out? And I would say, yeah, yeah, sure. And then that's just, that was a great way of doing it. Three Barbie dolls, two female, one male. A razor and blade. A Coke razor filled, blade to make the lines, too. Yeah, in a Coke-filled blender, you know. Cool. <laughs> And Ken, that guy loves it. The Ken doll. What do you think about this? I love it. You love it? Yeah. I like it. There's the Coke for the lines. There's mm -hmm. actually some here for you to try if you'd like to. <laughs> I have a five-year-old daughter. And she was sick last year. All these relatives sent her Barbie dolls. The last thing she wants to do is play with a goddamn Barbie Would doll. Would she do maybe put a Barbie no, in No. Do you know what she does? No. She, she puts big string across like the whole living room and hangs them upside down and all. <laughs> And she, put, she spent a whole day last week putting stripes in her hair and coloring her hair. Oh, that's pretty cool. So she could decide what she wanted. She's only fucking five years old. But I've lived some places in my life that were pretty weird. I was like in Greenwich Village in the Grand, okay. early 60s. Gee, you don't look that old. <laughs> I sat, no, I'm old. I'm over 70. That's all I meant. I sat on a stage, and she's still a friend of mine to this day with Joan Bias. Emily, why are you... And some fucking guy by the name of Dylan was playing with her that I had Dylan. never heard of before. <laughs> uh, we still laugh about it. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. So you never heard of the name Dylan? Nobody knew who he was. He was some little fuzzy-headed folk singer from Minneapolis. His name was Fuzzy-headed folk singer. Some guy can barely sing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, McKeesport Fights. If you yeah. type in McKeesport Fights on YouTube, you will see some dude get his ass kicked slowly in Lower 10th Ward. And his name's like Buzzy or right, quick, Forrest. Quick tip to any uh, McKeesport Forrest. High School students out there. Yeah. If you break up a fight, you will get a free $40 hoodie. I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> I've done it. It was awesome. Uh, R.I.P. Mr. Mooney's teaching career. <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Mooney got he hurt. tried to blow, break up a fight and had to retire. Yeah. Saw, someone got a broken call. What's that? That lesbian, <laughs> <laughs> lesbian <laughs> science teacher. What was her name? <laughs> Come on, help me out here. Miss Kenny. <laughs> Miss Kenny. She got like a collar bro bone broken. <laughs> I swear. Or Miss Tyke. The third name on the list, Ernie Grunfeld. <laughs> <laughs> is it me? <laughs> um, I think Jake, you're first. Ernie Grunfeld. Uh, I'm going. I'm going Nick's. 
<laughs> That's gotta be Nyx. Nyx, both of you uh, correct. Two points. Two right. points. No, no porn star would ever not Gr- change their last Gr- name if it was Grun. Grunfell. Ernie. <laughs> Chris McNeely. Now, is he a <laughs> point guard? Or, or, or a guy that's into butt or stuff. Or a circumcised guy. Because <laughs> <laughs> the two are mutually exclusive. It's huge. <laughs> there are only uncut point guards in the NBA. If, 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 you're, uh, if, if you're circumcised, yeah, I don't know if you could be a point guard. Nope, I think there's too much weight. It. There's too much uh, weight. Johnny, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> we circumcised you at birth. You'll never play point guard. You're a power forward. We're going to have to cut you from the team. Just because of your presence, I will probably see one of my best friends throw up next week. I'm glad to make that happen for you, Todd. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, yeah, I'll come back anytime and uh, keep fucking making the show. It's really cool. And uh, it's really awesome that you guys are making I appreciate art for that. the fuck of it, man. That's awesome. I appreciate that. All right, Alex. Thanks a lot, man. All right, man. We'll catch up with you later. You take care. Yeah, you have a good one, guys. All right. So that was all our special guests of Volume 1. That's right. A special thanks to Chris Gethard, Hot Dog Parish, Messenger Bag Clue, and Mike the Destroyer. Of course. And Fred the Refrigerator Photographer, who How did not I know. Ha! Who did not know. <laughs> what? Who did not know who Bob Dylan was. He didn't know who Bob Dylan was. And you know what? Bob Dylan wasn't a thing, perhaps. He, he may have not been a thing. And back here in the ITKY studios, it has started to rain. And my weird-ass neighbor has started to hose down her belongings in the rain. That's right. She is hosing down her belongings with water from a hose while it's raining outside. Maybe it's doubly effective. Mm-hmm. I really need to rethink my, my hose. I really need to do don't, don't try. My, my hosing techniques there. Now, Chris Gethard, we dropped him off at his own stand-up. That was a very special yes, day. Yes, yes, that's the first time you've seen stand-up comedy. Is that correct? No. No, never. it's not. No never. chance. <laughs> it is the first time that I went to see yes. it live, however. Oh, you see it? Well, that's what I meant. Well, I'm did... sorry. A misunderstanding. That's okay. It was a misunderstanding. It's, the, it's Jacob Henry. Don't don't trade. Don't don't trade. <laughs> And what a great stand-up, it's, it's Chris. The... What a great stand-up. He really captured the hearts of all Pittsburghers. All Pittsburghers. And he ate a Pittsburgher, didn't he? Yes, he a, did. His very first permanent sandwich, and we helped We helped him do we, that. Don't try. We helped him do that. Oh, that piano is lovely. Oh, don't talk about it. We have Miss Karen, our pianist here. That's right. Uh, Miss Karen is just... She is a... Visually speaking, if we want to close your eyes and think about her, a little heavy, rotund, a little rotund, breasts, very big breasts, (laughs) healthy, but you know what, her fingers are the best part of her. Yes, she's giving me the A-OK look, the, and she can still play. She can still play. Incredible. Well, let's, let's not distract her from what she's doing. Sorry, Miss Karen. Karen, Karen. you keep going. And, uh, just an update. We still have not got a ITY cassette. Uh, cassette tape is sold. Uh, and that, <laughs> that number again is 1 800 5533. That's right. So there's a few more numbers to the list. That's right. I'm right. here with my best friend, Jacob Henry. I am Todd Gregory. This is the Is That Your Kid podcast, Volume 1, Don't Don't Tray. Volume 1, Don't Don't Tray. Now, Hot Dog Parish, great guy. Mm-hmm. Do you think we might be able to see all of all of the, the yes. those folks when we when we yes. travel to New York City? Yes, we will. That's incredible. Will. Oh, wow. All my friends in New York will join us on this podcast. We've had my friend Rob Spencer, wow. Jamie. There's a lot more. My friend Paul he Facebook messaged me and wants me wants us to hang out and have dinner one evening. Dinner, but is oh. that your kid will be in New York August thirteenth through the sixteenth? No, Ka- Karen. No, Karen, you're not coming. Karen, please just keep playing. Please, Thank you. please keep playing. Thank Karen. you. We'll talk about it later. Yeah. You cannot yes. come with us. Miss Karen, Miss Karen, you're you're lovely. No, excuse. You need it.
Just keep playing. Dude, you got to fuck her up because she keeps looking at me like. Okay, and we're okay, back. Okay, and we're back. Planned. Wow. So our friends in New York will be joining us August 13th through 16th to be on our podcast. And it's going to be lovely. And speaking of our friends, our friends actually joined us for an episode. That's right. In addition to Mike the Destroyer. Don't, don't try. In addition. Wow. <sighs> How truly, truly grateful. We are to have them. We had musician Mike Slobodian, from the, the guitarist from the Pittsburgh band Atlas, and also the Velcro Shoes with us. That's right. Actor, and longtime bad friend of ours, Ryan <laughs> Nafakovich. <laughs> it's right. an actor who also lives in New York, who we will be seeing. I, I certainly hope so. Mm -hmm. I certainly hope so. But uh, they were here for episode 15, and episode 15 was one of my favorite episodes, Jacob Henry. It was. It really was. The name is perfect. It really was the friend group, wasn't it? It was the friend group. This is, honestly, no bits aside, all bits aside, this is something I'm going to remember. I'm going to remember this years down. I'm going right. to, and, to, to and, put this on. Uh, and, don't, don't and, and in 9 to 14 weeks when our own box sets get here, we can listen to that friend group episode. Yes, it's presented in HD somehow, That's, even though it's audio. Right, audio HD. Uh-huh. Audio HD. Uh. But this is the best of episode 15 with Ryan Novakovich and Mike Slobody. Dearest creature in creation, study English pronunciation. I will teach you in my verse. Sounds like corpse, corpse, horse, and worse. I will keep you, Susie, busy. Make your head with heat grow dizzy. Tear in eye, your dress will tear. So shall I, oh, oh hear my prayer. Just compare heart, beard, and herd. Dies and diet, Lord and word. Yeah, so I'm going to build my own computer for around 600 bucks. So I'm going to build a real nice machine. I already awesome. have a monitor. I've already got a keyboard. I've already got speakers. I've got everything you need. All I need is that tower. Ooh, ooh, what games ooh. are you looking to play on that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. New ones. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not the old ones. ones. <laughs> Jake, actually, you're the one who introduced me to, to pretty much PC gaming. You yeah. came over to my house and we were like barely friends and downloaded <laughs> Steam onto my computer. Because he thought you guys were like, really good well, friends yeah, at that point. Yeah, here's the thing. I thought we were real good friends. No, no, not, not until that point. You hadn't proven yourself yet. But you came over. Was that the same day that he ate all that lotion? <laughs> no, that was after. Definitely oh, I after. I forgot about that. Um, Sword and sward, retain and Britain, mine the latter, how it's written. Now I surely will not plague you with such words as plaque and ague. <laughs> but be careful how you speak, say break and stake, but bleak and streak. Um, but I had a lot of action figures, so I never really wanted, like, toys like that, because I had a lot of those. I wanted really, like, I guess you could say stereotypically boy toys. Like, I wanted a... <laughs> yeah, so like... So, like, a basketball and a football. <laughs> yeah. No, like a remote control car. Like, I always wanted a remote control car, and I I never had one. I haven't bought one of those for myself. That's a stereotypical boy toy. You don't think, like, every guy has, like, like little kid has remote control cars anymore? Cloven, oven, how and low, script, receipt, show, poem, and toe. Hear me say, devoid of trickery, daughter, laughter, and terpsichore. <laughs> I, uh, well, like, I don't know how to describe it, but Let's the other day, we were talking about <laughs> all of us hanging out, and Jake posted a thing, he's like, well, we can all come over to my house, like, my pool's open, like, we can, like, grill, and then, like, oh two God, hours right? later, nobody responds, and he's like, later. well, the time that I was willing to host has now passed. <laughs> that was the sentence. I so, kind of, I was kind of, like, stunned when I read that. Yeah, like, it was very formal. So it was, like, explain, I was like, two hours later. Yeah. To explain this a little better, in a Facebook message, Jake had offered some Graciously friends to come over. Invited all my friends to come Somebody to come over, and nobody responded in an hour. 
And so an hour later, he had said, the time that I wanted to host is past. past. If I'm you want, weird if about you want it. something that you'll probably have to cut out later, recently Jake's been getting really mad whenever Todd yells at him for wearing too many clothes. <laughs> To bed? <laughs> when he sleeps over. Like, if I'm sleeping on Todd's too floor, many Jake wears too many clothes to bed in my fucking I've, house. I see that two, two out of two last times I've been here, he's gotten mad that Jake is wearing his outfit. Two out of two. I want to rip those clothes off him. He goes to sleep like a homeless person. <laughs> Typhoid, Typhoid, measles, top sales, and aisles, exiles, similes, and reviles. Scholar, vicar, vicar, and cigar. Solar, mica, war, and far. Wow. What good friends. And what, maybe what great friends. Sort of friends. Sort of friends. Jake, I guess we, now that that episode has been, what, five weeks ago back? That's right. Let's talk about that a little bit more in depth now that we... It's just one-on-one -on -one without them here. Right. Ryan had said that you had not proven yourself as a friend As yet. a friend. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It was interesting to hear, and I was a little jarred. Mm -hmm. Jarred is a good word. Yeah. Not in a jar, but I was mm -hmm. stunned. Mm-hmm. Emotionally. Emotionally stunned. That's right. Ryan and I bonded in seventh grade, and we talked about it mm -hmm. when, when he thought I made up a, a book report right on the spot. Mm -hmm. When in fact I had tried very hard and it must not have been a good book report. And I, at that point in time, I figured we had been friends don't, don't try. for at least a few months. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting stuff there. Mm -hmm. And you could get more of that if you order our cassette and actually no, some good that, news. There's actually, there's not more. That's it. Oh. Oh, you'll get, you'll get not, all there's of... There's nothing more? There's nothing more to that cassette? Well, no, there's no extras. No, okay. You will get the same cassette as everybody else. That's right. And I do have some good news. Uh, actually, somebody did dial us in. That's right. It wasn't the right number, though. Right, they were actually looking for Chinese. They were looking for Chinese. To which to which we appropriately mm -hmm. responded, Dodo do, do, Trey. Dodo do, Trey. It's about the journey, Dodo do, Trey. <laughs> so... Ooh, that's a real thunderclap in the back. There's a real thunderclap in the back. Wow, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. Mm. And, uh, with that said as well, now, it has started to storm here very severely. Very severely it has started to storm here. My concern now is that the power will go out, and because my battery on my laptop is very poor, mm -hmm. it will die within a second. Any second. We won't have die. time to, ever, to stop. Mm -hmm. But it's good because we're doing, we are broadcasting this live. Yes, we are broadcasting it's live. live. To which you can call in you for your box set, 1-800- it, five, it is five, live. Three. We just haven't had a call. Five, 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 three. Three, five. Right. Yes. Yes, you could call them. And Jake has been famous for turning into bad situations to many good situations. Jacob Henry has always done that. And from that, he's actually given himself a nickname, hasn't haven't you, Jacob? I suppose. I suppose. Mm -hmm. And and what is that nickname? Uh, that That would be Angel Boy. Jacob Angel, Angel Boy. And way back in, I believe it was episode two or three? I think it might have been two. It might have been two. Way back, 18 weeks ago, in episode two. Wow, what a journey, don't don't What a journey, don't don't trace about the journey. Jake named himself Angel Boy. You want to take a listen to That's, that? You know what? I, I would like that. I would like that a lot. Okay. Okay, Mr. Slitball over there. <laughs> Take Slit it easy. Ball. Yeah. Is that going to be my nickname instead of the bod? Episode 3, Todd Slitball. Slitball Tondera. Yeah. It's too bad it's episode 2, though. I I'm saying in the future. In the f so wait for next Wait for next. Jake time. the Bumblebee, Todd well, Mr. Slitball. Maybe I'll have a different... Like, maybe next, it Jake Angel Boy Zerme. <laughs> Should have saved that one. <laughs> don't don't try. Ah, good times. Great camaraderie. Great times. And do you remember that, Jake? That's when we were full of hope and we're full of vigor. That's that right. was when we were two weeks in. Aiming for the stars. Aiming for the stars. We got about almost to the clouds and then came. <laughs> 
Just plummeted. We plummeted. Right. Uh, straight back down to the ground. <laughs> straight but back down. On that... But you know who was with us? Who was? Who was with us from the very beginning? Oh, I know. Great friend. Great friend. Time traveler. Don't, don't. Trey. <laughs> Lulu. Our good friend Lulu. Lulu, our West Coast time traveling reporter. She was on board from the very, maybe, <laughs> third week. Third week-ish? Maybe. Mm-hmm. And actually, this clip... We like to call the best of Lulu, and it really tells a story that I get emotional about every time I play it, because it takes her- Karen, please. Enough. Karen, enough. That's I, it. She keeps making faces at me. Just play your song. We don't- we don't pay you by the hour, okay? We pay you per pod. Don't make faces at me. Play your song. Sorry about that, everyone. Miss Karen gets a little upset. But Lulu's journey, it's about the journey, don't don't try. She started off as an emailer who we didn't even know. No idea. The first email I read from her, I was even worried about saying her name. Because I didn't know if she wanted her name broadcasted. And we don't even know if that's her real name. We don't know, and I don't want to ask. I never want to ask, but we're, we're not going to find out. We're not going to find out. So this is the best of Lulu. The journey that started from an email, she co-hosted an episode, and she wrote us a song. And also, we got, uh, if we're talking about viewer response here, we got, uh, I had a whole email conversation with uh, a uh, young lady from the West Coast um, this past week, and um, she was a fan Mm -hmm. of ours. And so, um, I'm just going to kind of read snippets, and uh, you know who you are. Thank you for emailing. You seem like such a sweet person, and uh, we look forward to to more emails. Um, But uh, to kind of go through it, she says, I think y'all are doing an amazing podcast. Your natural include weird 90s interests. I love hearing you two enjoy each other. (laughs) What? Right? Right? Oh, like, how yikes. genuine is a thing, though? That's such That's a genuine nice. statement. I, love... I like her. I like her. Thank like... you for your comment. I think she's... Do you hear that? Oh, I... she's trying to patch through. She's trying from to the, patch the through past. again. She's trying to patch through from the past again. Lulu, could you hear us? Lulu? Check, check. Hey kids, this is Lulu from the West Coast for Is That Your Kid? And I'm here with Imran. Say hi, Imran. Hi. Awesome. And Imran, what town are you from? I'm from Carlsbad, California. How haunted do you think Carlsbad is on a scale of one to five ghosts? Ooh, probably not that. Um, probably like a one, but like Buffalo, probably like a four because like the houses are so much older um like 60 70 years old so there's definitely like freaky Damn. shit probably going on there all yeah. the time do you have a personal ghost story or or do you just hear about ghost stories from like relatives uh i don't have personal ghost stories but like my sister has like a a couple that she remembers from like back in pakistan and those were a little fucked up because those houses are like older than 200 years old Holy shit. Like like what kind of shit? Like like friendly ghosts or like mean ghosts? There used to be like a mixture of them, but like the one that she like uh tells us all the time about is the one when uh she woke up in the middle of the night and she looked uh towards like the bathroom and she saw like this uh this little kid basically floating in the air and just like there's like a beam of like light around him and he was just standing there not saying anything and she freaked out but she, like she didn't know what to do so she just buried her face in her pillow and went back to sleep to say like i am a witch girl i i grew up i, I had to when i grew up my biggest uh dilemma was whether to be a jedi or a witch because cause one controls the force, but the other can actually create spells. Right. And you love spells. Oh, I love spells. So, mm-hmm. I, I am all... I have to say, I have to go witch. Have you ever seen the Blair Witch Project? I actually was too scared to see it when it came out, so I saw it uh-huh. my sophomore year of college. <laughs> uh, okay. What did, you, what did you think the witch looked like 
in that. In, like what? Like if you close your eyes and imagine the Blair Witch, what does she look like? I think the witch is more of like a, an amalgamation between like a sort of a zombie, sort of hairless beast with uh-huh. like giant finger claws and. Uh-huh. Uh, Sort of like if a human being had been, like, you know, asked for immortality, but forgot to ask to, like, be young forever. Mm-hmm. Just this, like, sort of deformed, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, like, on all fours creature. Like, people uh-huh. forget. They're like, I want immortality, but they don't specify, like, keeping their flesh alive, so. Yeah, so they decay, but stay alive. Exactly, exactly. It's like our dreams <laughs> as, as humans. <laughs> No, 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 no. We're not millionaires. No, you don't get it. You're not millionaires here. You don't get a say. You don't get a say. You look like shit, by the way. You say you would dress nice, and you don't. So get back over there, play the piano, or this is it. This is done. D-O-N-E. You are literally, you are ruining this. You are ruining this. No, no, be yourself to say it, but you are you really You're, bringing us she's, down. She's very, being very don't don't trade right now. She's ruining it. She's, this is not don't don't trade. We didn't ask much, we said... Show up. Show up. Play the piano. Play the piano. That's it. That's it. Nothing more. Okay. Go over there. Go over there. <clears throat> Go ahead. Th- thank you. Thank you. So that was Lulu. Lulu, our West Coast time traveling reporter, who is very don't don't tray. That's right. That's right. She's been with us from the very beginning. Great to have her aboard. She's a great member of the universe. Mm -hmm. If you yourself would like to become a part of this universe, it's only an email away. It's only a tweet. Email away. It's only a tweet away. Mm -hmm. A tweet away. Ad, is that your kid on Twitter? A a tweet away. Is that your kid at yahoo.com? It's only a medium pizza away. Subscribe on iTunes. It's a medium pizza away. Share with your friends. If this is the first episode you listen to, Yes, this is our actual voices we use. I'm Todd Gregory. That's my co-host, Jacob Jacob Henry. Henry. This is Is That Your Kid podcast. And this is exactly what every episode sounds like. That's right. Every single episode we do. Usually, hopefully in the future, we'll have a better, maybe a better musician. Maybe. In the background. And we apologize. We apologize for her. But you know what? Let's forgive. Let's let's move on. Let's. It's about the journey. We've had our di- we've had our differences. Karen, I'm sorry. Karen, I'm sorry, Karen. I know you're crying. Your mascara is all over your face. Thank you. Piano. It does sound wonderful. It's it beautiful. It sounds beautiful. I'm, it sounds beautiful. I'm. I think we both would like. We yeah. both like to. Your dead husband would be proud if you were actually at his funeral, but we didn't let you go there. That your dead husband would be proud of you. So. Karen. <laughs> Miss Karen, our lovely pianist over there. Oh, I, I like that change. Yeah, Karen, keep that up. Oh, oh. so uplifting. Yes. <sighs> so, well, speaking of yes. husbands and, and, and sons and... Yes. What about fathers? Fathers. How important are fathers? Well, they're, they're very important because... Yes, Jacob Henry. Most times, yes. you need them. Very don't-don't-try. At least for, for life. Don't-don't-try. And we've had... We've highlighted... 
a yes. bunch of very important fathers. We do have a weekly segment. Let's go. Let's go through the list. Mm-hmm. Let's go through the list. It's called Father of the Week. We have a weekly se- segment where we take a look at our favorite fathers and the best fathers out there. Okay, this is the birth of Father of the Week segment. Father of the Week. St. Louis Rams. Rams. They are gold and blue. Gold and blue. Look at that. You've already. I have breezy. Even... Getting breezy. Is he still with them? No, he was never with them. <laughs> <laughs> I should have shut up with that. Drew That's Breeze. Saints. I'm thinking Saints. Drew okay. Brees is a Saint. I'm thinking Saints. Okay, but Future I did Hall get the of colors. Famer. Great father. Great player. <laughs> great father. He's a fantastic. Is that your father? father? Is that your father? <laughs> is that your father award-winning? Uh, Hubie, every year we should have an induction of to the. Is that your father <laughs> Hall of Fame? And like you, you induct good fathers. <laughs> I think shit. We should make that every week. Yeah, I should induct Father of the Week. <laughs> okay, from now on we will induct Father of the Week. First one, him, but also that one gorilla, that, that one gorilla from last year in the Pittsburgh Zoo. <laughs> now he's got his own baby gorilla. Okay, so uh, the first week of Father of the Week, <laughs> Father of the Week, we're starting the Father of the Week skit out right now. Uh, <laughs> Drew Brees is the first inducted to the Father of the Week. Cut out the gorilla bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, leave the gorilla bit in. Don't cut it out. I won't cut out the gorilla oh bit. God. Wow. Drew Brees, great father. Mm-hmm. Great husband. Great quarterback. Great quarterback. Mm-hmm. In addition, that one gorilla that had a baby. Yes. In the Pittsburgh Zoo. Yes. In addition, Todd, your own father, but not your biological father. Yes, not my biological your ghost father. father. My ghost that father. That lives in your attic right above us. Yes, there was episode eight. We traveled to my haunted attic. We did a podcast there. And we talked about my ghost father. Now, my ghost father haunts this house and if you want to listen to more about him go back to episode eight but he used to as a ghost tuck me in at night that's right that's right and that's a beautiful thing very gentle lost it's about the journey it's about the journey he had passed he still he still still has not completed his journey yeah yeah he's really adventure he's very in limbo definitely in limbo Mm -hmm. in addition louis armstrong the father of jazz father of jazz Father of Dodo Trey Jazz. <laughs> In addition, <laughs> J- Django Fett, the father of all clones. Clones everywhere. In addition, Fred, the f- refrigerator photographer. And he was one of our guests. Great father, great grandfather. Great grandfather. Who's, whose granddaughter is, is fucking five years old. <laughs> fucking five years old. <laughs> the, the father of Don't Don't Trey Art. Mel Ziegler, the father of Banana Republic. <laughs> that's one <laughs> that I. <laughs> that's why they didn't retrospect his old. <laughs> it's a pretty lame father of the week. <laughs> In retrospect, <laughs> Mel Ziegler, the father of Banana Republic, <laughs> is not. Not a one. <laughs> It's not one that I knew where the joke was going. <laughs> it didn't really go anywhere. No. Oh. Much like that episode. Because that was episode 14. That episode went nowhere. That's right. And you can get that episode get that. in addition to 19 other episodes. That's right. Of Is That Your Kid? Just by calling in. Just yes. by calling in. Pick up that phone. Order no. online. You you can't, but you can pick up the phone. one 800 5353 Get your box set today. Get your box set today. It won't come today. Nine we, to fourteen weeks. It we, will be there. We actually we actually have no report on what was purchased because my sister has fallen asleep. So ring that phone. Ring those bells. You know what, ring Jacob Jacob, I assume that we probably sold about six thousand. At yeah. this point, I don't know because she. Right. We haven't confirmed my, that. My number. bandwidth is getting a little fuzzy, which me, leads yes. me to believe that many folks are streaming yes. at home. In the past five minutes, I think we've went from zero to six thousand easily. Very fair estimate. Very fair estimate. The numbers are still coming in. Mm-hmm. Let's keep going. Mm-hmm. Father of the week, Sam Bush, Sam Jean Parmesan Bush. lookalike, mm-hmm. king of Telluride, and the father yes. of Newgrass. 
Dalton Trey New Grass. <laughs> VH ta VHS Tape George, who gave you many episodes of, you know, WWE Smackdown, and, and your first watch of Alien. Alien. Alien, yes. And something about that, if you remember about George, I didn't know his last name. You still don't. And you had <laughs> mentioned that it may be George Zimmerman. <laughs> it's what you thought. <laughs> On episode 15, which you could download for free, or or the box set, or which- Or pay us. Or pay us. He- I had mentioned that VHS tape George who used to tape WWE and WCW pay-per-views for me? I didn't know his last name. And Jacob thought it was George Zimmerman, which which it was not. <laughs> Let's move on. Father of dad jokes. Our our friend, Ryan Novakovich. In quotes, our friend. Corsair, a.k.a. Christopher Summers, the father of Scott Summers. He's actually the father of the W-E-A-K. He's the, the father, father of the week. Of the week which the was week. a different take on the bit. Instead of father of the week, W-E-E-K, we did father of the week, W-E-A-K. That's right. Tywin Lannister, the father e of subterfuge. Jason Garrett, another father of the week, Dallas Cowboy. Yes. J yeah, he was the father of the week because they are a very shitty football team. That's right, that's right. And finally, so far, on our journey of Father of the Week, yes. Casey Kasem, and I don't, I don't have no idea who that is. <laughs> well, to let you know, <laughs> I have no idea. That was a part of episode 16. That's right. You weren't there for episode 16, but Casey Kasem was a father of the top 40. He has since passed. I still don't know what that is. So, <laughs> so he is a past father. Well, what's top 40? It's, it's a count. I'll show you later. Okay, a countdown. It's, it's important. Well, that wraps up our Father of the Week. Father of the Week. So, again, you could download us, subscribe on iTunes, share with your friends, write us a very kind review. Jay Zerm's Concerns. We have that bit. Father of the Week. We do Haunted Towns. We review Haunted Towns. Goosebump books. We read, re, re, we read those in a don't own trade fashion. And review those. It's about the journey. We're 20 episodes into our journey. I am your host, Todd Gregory. I'm with Jacob Henry. And we are drinking the last of my liquor. Let's, let's cheers you cheers. are drinking. Cheers. cheers to another 20 episodes. Cheers, cheers my good friend. Cheers, cheers. to another Another cheers, episodes. I think. Let's just keep cheering. Okay. Zane. Let's hope this doesn't break, huh? Oh, that one buzzed my ear. <laughs> That's right. I think I'm done. Uh, yeah, we're done with that. Red Stag Vodka. Nicks or Dicks? <laughs> Is that your goof whiskey? We'll re review all the mistakes we make. Which, admittedly, there's many. There is many. So, <gasps> we act- <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Karen, keep going. Okay, yeah, go. Vamp, <clears throat> vamp. Okay. We actually thought of this voice bit we're doing. Roughly about two minutes before we started. So we hope you enjoyed it. We hope you enjoy this. But again, I'm your host, Todd Gregory. With Jacob Henry. Is that your kid? And something that I also want to... Uh, and this was never on an episode. But this is something that I hold dear to me. This very, is special. This is new. This is very don't Very new right here. Very don't do But for the first episode that we had taped... We have snowball microphones, and it is a bit of ours that we goof around on those microphones. We're, we're real roughhousers. It's a, it's a warm-up. It's a warm-up. Gets our brains activated. Mm -hmm. But I like to call this short clip, Snowball Test 1. This is a stereo vocal test. Wow. Wow, that was you before, that was little Jacob, before the first episode. 20, 20 weeks. 20 weeks ago, we I were 20 podcast, weeks younger. we were podcast virgins. Oof. 20 weeks ago. It sounds very nice when you say it like that. And, and now, we're look just, at us. just loose, just. That we have many downloads from the UK, shook run to you. One from Egypt. Shook run from Egypt. Shook run to all, all the listeners. Shook run, don't don't tray. Shook run to our fathers. To our fathers. Shook run to Lulu. 
Shukran to Lulu and our friends. And remember, subscribe on iTunes. Don't do Trey. Subscribe on iTunes. Share with your friends. Is that your kid podcast? Podomatic.com. Pod. It, <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that your kid dot podomatic.com. Podomatic.com. That's our hub. Is that your kid dot P O D O M A T I C dot com. <laughs> and thank you for all those who bought our cassette tape at 1 800 555 355555. And we want to wish everybody a fantastic week at your job, at your school, at unemployment. Anything you do, anything you are, we are supportive of that. Is that a liberal thing to say? Yes. I don't care. I like that. I will That's a very <laughs> positive thing for you to say. Right. So, um, to you and yours, have a great week. And we're going to watch Insidious 2, I feel. Still, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, Jake, you send off episode 12. Happy past Mother's Day. <laughs> Todd, I love you. Good luck to everyone in whatever you do, whether you're finger painting or acting yeah. or just driving around. <laughs> Great. The three stages of life. Great luck. Don't wreck. Paint on. Bumper sticker. Dude, that's a bumper sticker. That's gotta be the best thing. What did you just say? I don't know. And Jake, that was such a beautiful send off. And that. Great luck, don't wreck, paint on. And what a mantra. Very similar to what's on our business cards. It's fair. It's almost identical. And we will just leave it at that. We'll leave it we got that. about 998 left. Yes, we did give away two business That's cards. That's right. But our popularity level is through the roof right now. Thanks to everybody in the UK. Thanks to everybody who downloaded. We are 20 episodes in, and we are not quitting. We are not quitting until we are number one comedy podcast because that's what they say we are on Potomac they think this is comedy we will not stop till we are number one on Potomac this is very serious to me there's nothing comedic don't don't tray it's about the journey and we would like to thank you for being on this journey with us and mark my damn words mark his damn words we will get to number one on Potomac and deliver you an excellent podcast every week this has been Volume 1. Volume 1. Of Is That Your Kid Is Podcast. That your kid podcast. Jacob Henry. Myself, Todd Gregory. It's about the journey. Don't don't tray. And we are just starting that journey. The journey has just begun. In two weeks, we will be back with Volume 2. So, Jake, I want to give you my honor in sending off this podcast. Just as you sent off 18 others aside from last week because that was rough. Close it out, brother. Don't don't tray. Don't don't tray. Shukran. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> sore. Sore like an endangered herring scouting for fish. Swim like a fish. Don't don't tray. Trying not to get eaten by said herring. Don't don't tray. Don't don't try in everything you do. It's about the journey. Buy a friend a pizza. Buy a laundromat a pizza. Buy one guy a pizza. But whatever you do, make sure you do it with meaning. Or why do it? Stay positive. Don't don't try.
Yeah, that was perfect. Is that your cat? Oh my god, please don't be ruined. Dang.